Hello, how are you? Uh, my name is Nicola Simone. I'm executive director of a transforma digital transformation and innovation in Petrobras. And I will share with you my thought about uh, how we, how, how, how can we act or how can we uh, think in this uh, new normal environment, okay? I will show my, my presentation and of course be, be free to do some questions that I will try to answer at the end if the time is allowed. I will share my my presentation here. Okay, uh, I think the, the the point of the presentation is well, the world is to the still. How do we start up uh, the new normal? Is this is a, a, a way of thinking of how uh, we can act, we can react, we can uh, rethink uh, our our way of thinking in this in this new normal and of course after pandemic uh, the what we are facing today and i think the the concerns about about the future are okay the the shops uh, where the vaccine will be will be ready how we are going to do education how we act in this recession like a person or or like company uh, how we manage our finance, how we manage our health, we are in quarantine, and we need to think about of, of all these dimensions. But before, and I think this image uh, uh, registered what was what was our hope in 2020. You know, I think that we hope that the economy was running up and up, up and well. Uh, everything was ready to 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 have a a, a great 2020. But an arrow in a in a in a, in a, in, a, in a space that we we didn't think can and hit it us uh, very strongly. And when we think in all in in 2020, no, I I I pass this video because I think the everybody may, maybe you saw it in in another social media. But this is how I think the 2020 will be. Of course, maybe we have some you no know, turns around in the air. But at the end, we are going to everything will be fine. I think it's, it's, it's a hope, it's a light uh, at the end. And when we think and we compare the the COVID nineteen with another plague, for example, the plague that was a uh, hundred years ago, approximately, uh, the plague to go to another continent to another maybe took ten, ten years approximately. Uh, the people was acting in in silos. Uh, was not a good, a good way of communication. And I think what we learned with the COVID, uh, or what we are having with the COVID, that the, the COVID passed through continents in hours, uh, but the technology or the digital technology that sometimes we criticize like social media, WhatsApp or wherever, uh, help us to coordinate each other in order to move forward with this crisis. And of course, we have the, the people isolation, the, the, the means of transportation uh, are changing and our communication is, is increasing. It's just a uh, thought about what, what is happening, what happened in the past and what we can expect from, from the future. But when I think in, in, in this kind of world, uh, I, think, uh, I think the world is, is like a book award. That means that it's a world with volatility, uncertainly is complex and ambiguous. And for that, I, I, I made a simile with a vaccine that we need to think about in our day by day living or in the organizations. Uh, and when we say vaccines, comparing with the VUCA, we are thinking about velocity, agility, creativity. And when we think creativity is with two C's that I think is, 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 is very important because without creativity is not innovation and without creativity is, is, is not, uh, we, we don't change or we don't rethink the organization. And of course we need innovation network, that means collaboration and experimentation. Uh, and I will pass through all these, all these dimensions that are the learnings or the thinkings or the thought that I'm having with, the, with my teams uh, and also uh, with my family in this in this in this kind of world, when we think about velocity, uh, of course uh, 
the, the world is, 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 is running fast, is running uh, very fast in a way that sometimes is, is, is hard to follow up. But uh, what we are doing or what we need to think in this process, if, if, we, if, if we see the, the unicorns from 2009 uh, and the different companies that appear uh, in the market, you see that was one unicorn, one year, one unicorn, another year. But what, what happened from 2014? The numbers of unicorn increased. That means that the, the, just not the complexity, but the speed of innovation increased exponentially. And that is very important because uh, what we need to understand is in this book, a word that velocity is crucial for our way of thinking or way of doing. Even more, when we think in Petrobras uh, and when we think in the in the pandemic that we are living, in two weeks we need to we need to put twenty five thousand uh, people in home office working from home office, with the dimension that we we cannot stop the business. The business need to be running. And if you see the graphic, the graphic is are not to see the numbers, just to see the the ramp up of the different dimensions like come uh, the virtual terminals that we need to set it up and, 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 and put in a scale, the Teams connections, or my, I say Microsoft Teams connections that we need to put. Almost we have every day more than 25, uh, sorry, 55,000 connections in Teams. Uh, notebooks that we need to be delivered. We have 20, uh, 31,000 notebooks, but we, we, we put uh, with our workers more than 6,000 more and VPNs connections in order to access our internal system from the company. That means that, of course, we have all this technology, but not in the scale that we need in, in this uh, pandemic world. And this is velocity for us. Velocity is, is the time to market that we put in place in order to adapt. And speaking uh, in, in adapt and, 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 and think uh, I think is it is some learnings that I will want to give you about or how to implement or how to think in velocity in an organization or even in our private life. And I think it's two tips or two learnings that I can I can I can put you or, or give to us uh, from from here. First, best can be the enemy of the good. Uh, or seventy is better than a hundred. We need to rethink because sometimes uh, no, the best that we can uh, or that we can get uh, will take a lot of time. And bring results fast in improvement cycles. That means that forget about to have projects or to have a, a yeah to have projects that will take one two years. We don't have time for that. We need to to be fast in the way of implementation. That is why we have assign methodologies we need to we need to rethink the way that we are that we are implementing projects it, even uh, in a small or huge companies what what i'm saying here that if we have huge corporations or startups or small corporations these two dimensions of velocity are very important to to take away Follow us uh, or follow the, the vaccine the vaccine process. I think the second dimension that we need to rethink is agility. If we go and agility is not is not the same as, as velocity. Okay, I think that when when we think in a train, the train has a speed, but the train cannot move uh, through different directions. Is he he need to follow the rail? You need to follow a line. But if you compare with the cheetah that she, uh, that this uh, great animal running fast, but he can move and adapt to different direction, of course, in order to do it, in order to hunt. And when we think in agility in, 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 in a market, this is a graphic that shows the penetration of the e-commerce in US, in the United States. And when we think in the last 10 years, or when we, when we see in the last 10 years from 2009 uh, to 2019, uh, we saw that the penetration of the e-commerce in 10 years go to 16%. Uh, but look at what happened in the last eight weeks. We go from 
16% to 27% of penetration of e-commerce. And that means two things. First thing is that the companies uh, has to run fast in order to have an e-commerce or a digital platform to sell in place. And the second dimension is that the customers need to adapt to use applications or some kind of, of way in order to buy digital services or product because we are in quarantine or we were in quarantine, depending on what, what, what part of the world we, have, we are. And I think it's very important because we need to adapt to this new normal. We don't need to fight uh, with that one. We need to just to realize that the new normal is in place. And of course, it's a lot of opportunities when, when we think about all the things that we can do and all the market that open uh, in order to, to, to buy it. And if we think in digital transformation and innovation, I think we are doing in three months what we will take uh, maybe doing three or five years because it's a cultural change. It's, it's a, it's the, the society is changing to adapt to this new normal. And I've I given some tips for that one. For example, in Petrobras, when we, if, if this is a research that we did internally to understand uh, how the employees, uh, if the employees uh, want or they, they are open to work in a home office uh, perspective. This is for the lead. This is a survey that we did for for the leaderships internally. But if I if I if I was uh, putting this survey online, maybe l last year, maybe I don't know. Thirty percent of the people will say yes. I'm alive. I'm allowed. I'm happy doing a home office. And maybe seventy percent say no. I, I prefer to work in an office. And the, our our surprise here after put uh, 25,000 people in home office and doing this survey that 100% of the employees want to have a home office, want to have the opportunity to work from home or from the office. And the debate changed from if we, if we, if we will have home office to if we are going to have home office three days per week, four days per week, or whatever was the number and, and i think this is this is agility in order to adapt to a to a new normal to a new reality that we need to put in place and we adapt in our personal life and also we adapt in our corporate life and this is is, is there this kind of change are not very, very rocket science change in an organization but are a culture change is, is we are changing the way of working using technology technology like a, a way through to add value but just putting technology in place in order to in order to accelerate this digital transformation and the tips of the learning or learnings that we can get from this dimension of agility that I, I, I can give to you is first of all be open mind for change okay we, we cannot fight in this in this world uh, for 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 not to change. I think it's part of the DNA that we need to have. Be ready to adapt and be adaptable, okay? Is, are these three dimensions or the three learnings that we give, I can give to, to you in, in the terms of the agility perspective. When we say creativity, and this is the creativity with C square, because uh, I think without creativity, uh, we can have velocity, we can be adaptable, but without creativity, won't be innovation, won't be experimentation, and maybe the network will be will be hit. And we need to think outside the box. I think this figure is just not uh, to put a, a, a funny figure, but it's, it's something that we need to rethink. We need to rethink our status quo. We need to think outside the box. And when, when we think in creativity, I put uh, two, two, two different uh, sentences of Albert Einstein, for example, that imagination is more important than knowledge. In this kind of, of world that creativity uh, has to be part of our DNA, uh, I think uh, uh, rethink the status quo, break the status quo is very important uh, to put innovation in place. And 
the, the other message is uh, creativity is applying your imagination to address a challenge. And I think in this pandemic or, or with this, in this pandemic world that we are living, I think challenge uh, we have every day, even every minute. And I think creativity has to be part of our DNA or of our cultural life in an organization. An organization that employs, uh, they are not in entrepreneurs, they are not uh, creative. The organization would move and maybe lost market or uh, lost revenue in, in a future. Or maybe some competitors will heat it up like we see uh, in other examples. And for example, when we think creativity and when we think in this disruption, I won't, I won't explain too much these examples because I think this figure it, it explains itself. But we have the lamps, I left the lamps. We have uh, Steve Jobs, uh, uh, breaking paradigms to create a phone without without a keyboard. Uh, we have Netflix uh, versus Blockbuster that they are think different. And of course, we have Uber, we have Waze, we have different we have different companies that they are they are breaking the status quo. They are creating new ways of thinking, but all the time thinking in the customer. And what we are doing in, Pet in Petrobras is creating an environment that help us to uh, be creative having design thinking uh, rooms, uh, having co-working areas, uh, having a pitch internally to look internal startups because we have great talents in Petrobras that of course we have a great opportunities uh, that we can, uh, we can leverage internally in, in, in the company. This is some examples that we are running internally in order to find great startups even just not outside the company, but internally in the company. And the creativity has to be part of the, that kind of that kind of movement. And how to or the learnings that I that I can give to you in order to the creative part is first enable co-working. I think what what we need is to break uh, break from tiers from different areas from the technology. If we see the IT areas. And the business or and the business unit areas, we need to break the frontier from IT or digital transformation with the, un, the with the business area. I think the the, the business uh, professionals need to know about technology, and technology need to know about the business. That is the co-work the, the co-working part. Promote this design thinking space. I think when when we have design thinking space, we we need to put a problem in place, but we need to work with four, five, six hands all together uh, in thinking how is the better solution for our problem or our need in, in a company. And create a hub of ideas. We have a lot of employees in Petrobras that have huge and great ideas. And we need to give a hub, we need to give a platform, we need to, give, we, we need to have process in order to that, that, that ideas flow in this in this environment in the corporation in order to get it and when we think in innovation okay that is another variable that i'm i'm provoking here a, a little bit i i give I, I put this image that skipping in a class in in 1990 uh, was just maybe shampoo you know was running out from class today in this in this pandemic world when we have a uh, online uh, education, it's just to click in two buttons. And uh, I think innovation uh, for 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 the different companies uh, is not a technology limitation. It's just to work with creativity and put and do an alchemy of technologies in order to put an innovation or a product in place. If, for example, if, you, if, if we think in ways or if we think in Uber, that I, I imagine that maybe uh, a lot of you use that kind of thing, that kind of solution. They didn't invent technology. They use GPS. They do. They use gamification. They they of course they they, they have a digital payment. They they have mapping, but they they. They did an alchemy of technologies that they already exist, 
in order to find a solution for a customer need. And this is a customer centric uh, vision. How we work with technology or we, put, or, or we do an alchemy of technology that give a solution uh, for uh, our customer in order to facilitate the life. And what we are doing in, in innovation in Petrobras, uh, I think we are thinking in blockchain. I saw the last presentation speaking about blockchain. We are thinking in a digital twin. We are thinking in high performance computing. In 2019, we have internally three petaflops of uh, processing capacity. And today we have 23 petaflops. And why we need all this kind of, all, the, all this power of processing? Because uh, we need to analyze or we need to have a geological uh, analytic in place with a lot of data uh, in place. Uh, speaking about digital twin, uh, we are working or we are looking operation operational efficiency. Uh, we are uh, working with our augmented reality safety to, to, to look at in safety and in efficiency uh, in the company. And of course, we are thinking in logistic 4.0 because we have a huge uh, network of logistics that we need to we need to be very very efficient uh, to in, in the day by day operations. And the learnings or the tips that I can give you about about innovation is that. Uh, all the innovation and the creativity has to be focused in customer. That is why customer centric is so important. Just not only how to say for digital transformation and innovation internally in Petrobras, uh, but also if we see retail, if we see consumer goods or any kind of industry, I think customer centric is very important because it's, it has to be a satellite all our decisions. Second uh, important message that technology is not the main restriction. Don't think about technology by technology. Technology is, 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 is a way to, the, to deliver value. And this is the third dimension that I'm giving here. This is the add value has to be in our main day-by-day uh, -day decisions. You know? okay. Customer centric, adding value, using technology, in order to deliver that one. But when we think in innovation, we need to think in PPT, no? process, people, and technology working all together in these uh, three dimensions. Networking or network. This is, is, is collaboration. We, are, we, are, we, we cannot think today in move forward in an organization in a way that we think that we are heroes individually. We need to work in a team we need to co-work, we, we need to think together different solutions or different way of doing different things. And for that, what we are doing in, in, in Petrobras, we create a corporate lab. That means that we connect startups, we connect our internal startups, we connect the people in, 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 in a place that they can use creativity, innovation with high technology in order to uh, run in this in this book world, and when we think in a corporate lab, we think in a space or technologies also that give da data access, that we can test platforms, uh, that we have an environment of co-working, that we can connect the start startups and also partners, internal uh, partners or even external. And we are very proud because uh, we have a R and D center. Uh, the, I think the huge R&D center in, in Latin America. And we, we book a building uh, in, in this place to create our co corporate lab. Uh, and again, this is, is one more building block in the ecosystem. Uh, we cannot think separately all these, dim these dimensions, but we need to think together uh, this vaccine to, to, how to say, it, to fight this book award. And I think when we think network, the learning is break the internal walls in, in a company uh, and allow people connection. Uh, we need to break silos and hierarchies. You know, I think we, we, we need to have more matrix 
uh, connections and build a collaboration ecosystem. A collaboration ecosystem there is technology and process that can connect people internally in the company, that they can share ideas, they, they can share the day-by-day -day operation. This is very, very important in order to, to evolve, evolve together, sharing different kind of, of information or different kind of experience. And experimentation is the last, is the last, uh, I think, dimension in this vaccine uh, model that we need, in order to innovate, in order to, to how do you say, to, to use our creativity, we need to have the freedom to do experimentation in the organization, okay? And if we see some prototypes, if we see some, some different companies there that they are working in, for example, a space mission or whatever, we need, we need to implement the culture in a company of the fail fast, fail, fail better, but fail safe. Uh, and also in Petrobras, because we have a high risk environment, uh, and when we want to implement a fail culture, we need to, we need to think in safely. It's, it's, it's impossible to not think in this dimension. We need to, of course, we, need, we can fail fast, we can fail better, but we need to fail safe. And when, when we think about, about failing, this is, is a, a, a project that we are, that was, was starting in an experimentation mode that is emergency shutdown alert in our platforms, for example, that was uh, using a simple internal phone or called as uh, MEP, uh, artificial intelligence, data science to identify and predict the data patterns. Uh, we built or uh, we did all this alchemy, starting with the experimentations, interacting with our sensors in the platforms to, to create a project that give to us a return uh, versus investment uh, huge, uh, more than 140 uh, times uh, return from the investment. This is, this is huge for us. I, I won't enter in the detail of, of this project, but this is this this kind of project was ideas from our uh, colleagues, our employees that they they are in the day by day operation and they have a platform. They they can have a, a way to put ideas in place uh, with creativity and also uh, doing experimentation in internally in the company. And when we think in in, in the lens of experimentation. Uh, Experiment, but keep simple. This is connect with the, you know, 70% is better than 100 in a way that, uh, you know, the optimal uh, maybe uh, will take a lot of time. And implement an honest fake culture is very important in the organizations, in the small ones, but also in the big organization. Why are honest fail? Because of, of course you can fail not honestly, but here we are, we are saying, okay, if you fail innovating, testing, experimenting in order to add value to the company, it's, it's good. We need to accept that one and we need, we need to, uh, how do you say, uh, to, to incentive this in, in principally in, in, in huge organizations. And almost at the, at the end of, of the presentation, but one thing that I want to share with you, uh, I, I explained about the VUCA, I explained about the, va the vaccine, but also it's an ambiguity in innovation. We need to understand or we need to, we need to balance the traditional versus digital. And I put a, a, a word here that not every customer will be human. If you see artificial intelligence today, they are taking some decisions for us that maybe a customer, customers will be machine. And today, we are having this kind of example. Be efficient, but also we need to invest, okay? If it's, if it's not on the scoreboard, it didn't happen. That means that we need to have KPIs in order to monitor just not only the efficiency, but the investment that we are, that we are doing uh, in the companies. And we need to think or we need to rethink because I, when I spoke with some companies, I feel that, I'll, that IT or a digital transformation, they are seen like a cost 
center, not like investment internally in a company. We need to we need to rethink that. Uh, contribute to earning versus impact to core vision, uh, core mission. That means that, of course, we need to impact or, or, or contribute to, to earning, but also we need to have a, a, a kind of mind that we, we need to think how we can disrupt our business in a company. We have the example of Kodak, Blockbuster, the taxis versus Uber or whatever, but the thing is the company, the companies has to have a B-model way of thinking, how to contribute to earning, but also uh, how we are going to, to impact the core business, maybe with some disruption. And delivery revenue, revenue versus delivering value that resume, I think, all this. Well, I'm, I'm, I get it at the end of, of my presentation. I hope these, all these tips and all, all the thinking uh, help companies, help uh, entrepreneurs, uh, help people to rethink the, 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 how we can start up in this, in this, in this new normal. Okay. And I give my, my contacts here. If, if you have any questions, you can contact by LinkedIn or, or Instagram. But I think the, the key message at the end is we need to be the agent of transformation. No? We, have, we have to learn how to be entrepreneurs, uh, how to take risk, how to challenge the status quo, and how to make uh, sure uh, and, and, and sure the honest fail won't be punished uh, in an organization. To be, to, to, to the our colleagues or the employees to have how do you think freedom to think out of the box. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you have a great event.